y'all this is Dino welcome to my channel y'all I thought today I would just play in my craft room a little bit and I would play with my Cricut my Cricut mug press I haven't used it in a long while and I thought what I would do today is make a spring mug so of course I went to design bundles to look for something cute and I came across this one right here it says it's an Easter mug design but I'm not going to put my name on it. I put, I'm going to put Happy Easter on it. But I think it's a super darling. I hope that it comes out as vibrant and pretty as this one does. So we will see. If it doesn't, I know it's going to still be great. But anyway, I wanted to show you. This is the one I found. So if you're interested in this, it's the Easter Mug Design. Add your name, it says. And it's for the 11 or 15 ounce Easter Mug okay so the mug that i'm going to be using is a cricut mug and i've had it mustache it is the 15 ounce so i went ahead and i purchased it and i've already downloaded it i also purchased another one but i'm going to use that one on a different video um, so i purchased it and i have um, added it's in my downloads right over here here's the 15 ounce and so forth so i've got that there and i am i put this up in my silhouette um because i probably could have used my cricut design space on this but i'm just using silhouette and i usually only use this for when i sublimate so if you don't have a silhouette it doesn't matter all you need is their program so you can print this now um because you can only print up to certain sizes on the cricut design space now, I probably could have did this one on Cricut Design Space because it's only 8.75 by 4.25. And so I might have been able to do it on Cricut Design Space, but I just went into Silhouette. That's what I did. So if you're new to this and all that and you want to learn how to do this, all you would do is go up here and click on Merge. And here it is right here. All I did was click on this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click OK. And it's going to pop another one over it. So as you see, there it is right there. And all you do is just position it where you want it. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that since I have one. And then um, all you're going to do is click on the alphabet. And then over here, the alphabet. And then you'll see all the different fonts that pop up over here. So I did add Happy Spring. Yes, it is backward. Because when you sublimate or do an iron-on type thing, you always want to mirror your image. So to mirror your image, you're just going to click on the words. And by the way, I'm using the font Kristen ITC. And all you're going to do is go to object, mirror, and then I just flipped um, hor horizontally. So I've already got that done. It's ready for me to go. And sorry for my washer, just stopped. Um, so anyway, that's all you have to do. And I just clicked on it. And I just um, decided what color. So I clicked over here on the palette that's right over here. And it told me the different colors. And I just chose a pink because there's so much blue in here. I thought the pink would be okay. Um, probably white would actually do nice too. I wonder what white would look like. Mm, I think I'll leave it on pink. The white actually looked good too. Let me go back and look at that. Hmm. I kind of like that. I think I'll just go ahead and go with the pink. So anyway, so that's what that looks like. And that's how I got to the point where I am right now. So now I'm going to show you how I sublimate this onto my mug. Okay, so I've already printed it, but I wanted to show you my printer. This is the Epson ET2760. Y'all, I love this printer. And the ink, as you see, is where the ink goes. It lasts so long it really does so the paper that I'm using I like to use the a sub paper I got it on Amazon I'll see if I can link that below for you if you're interested in starting the journey of sublimation but that is my printer sorry for getting too close there but that is the printer that I use so let's get back over here and I'll show you that's what it looks like when I printed it. So once you have printed it, now you just need to trim this up. This is what it comes out looking like. 
So I'm just going to use my paper trimmer and I'm going to just trim right along those edges. Just want to make sure I'm getting this up here on the top there. Trim this off. I'm trimming it. I trimmed very little off of there. You don't want to trim it because this is the size that you need. And by the way, the size again is four and I think it's four and a quarter, four and a quarter by 8.75. So eight and three fourths. Okay. So that's the size you need for this mug. I think I made when I first got my, first got my um, Cricut heat press. Uh, mud press actually I think I made like one video um, showing this and I thought you know what I'm gonna make a springtime mug I just want it's time to use things that you have in your stash I just want to make sure it's good and even and I've had questions about my my trimmer my trimmer is a EK successes I got it on scrapbook.com and I really do like it. I've had it for several months and I've never had to change the blade. It's still trimming everything nicely. It's not eating my paper. So, so far, so good. Okay, so there we go. So now I've got that all trimmed up. That's all I need for this one. So now you've got your, your design. If you don't want to go to design bundles or something like that, you can do this, your, you know, design something yourself. But um, I thought this was just beautiful when I saw it. So I had to try it. So, got my mug here. Okay, there's my mug. I'm gonna go ahead and get my mug press. And let me, let me get this out just a little. There's my mug press, okay? So on the top here, y'all it's got a little dust that's a shame on the top here's the on off switch so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to press it whenever all these lights are lit up that means it's ready to go and i do have it on my my little ironing mat here because i don't want it to damage i don't want the heat to damage my um my mats here okay let's go ahead while that's heating up we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the mug adhered or the paper adhered on the mug. So, here we go. I'm gonna grab my alcohol. You always wanna clean your surface. I'm gonna move this out of the way because I don't wanna accidentally splatter alcohol on it where it won't work. So you wanna make sure you clean your surface. I'm gonna bring over my fateful yellow rag here that I always use. Just a couple little squirts and you wanna make sure you clean it to get any oils or dirt or dust off. So you wanna make sure you clean it very well. And make sure you get it dry. Now you don't have to worry about the top or bottom because this is only gonna be wrapping around the mug. Okay, I think that'll work. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your design, you make sure you put it the right way so happy's up here, so I'm gonna put that going the right way. And you wanna wrap this around. Just try to get it as even as you can. Okay, that will probably be good. And of course it doesn't go up underneath. It's just gonna go wrap this. Now I'm gonna, I wanna go ahead and I'm using heat resistant tape. I'm going to go ahead and get this tape down and I'm holding this as tight as I can. I'm going to put this up. I want to make sure everything is good. So there we go. You want to make sure you're getting everything lined up on the top. Looks fairly good. I'm going to go ahead and finish all my taping. You want to make sure everything is taped down nicely. And don't skip the taping part. That's not good for you to skip the taping part. Let's see. I'm making sure my mug press is heating up. 
going to take a, take a couple of minutes, and it, but it will be okay. Okay, now that I've got it taped up here, I'm going to go around the top and bottom. I just want to make sure everything is nice and adhered down. Now, I can use my big tumbler press that I have, but this is a little bit more easier for me to use this. And so, I'm just going to go ahead and hold that. Oops, I have another roll of this tape, so. And when I buy it, it comes like a three pack or something like that on Amazon. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I've got another one right here. It's like a quick change artist, y'all. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It hasn't been a bad day. You know, it's the day the Lord made, and we got a lot to be grateful for. So, I am just going to... Well, let's see if I can get this. I'm just going to be grateful and thankful for everything. And just let you guys know that I love you. Okay, my thing is now ready, but I have to finish the tape. Let me see if I can get this. Come on, tape, work for me. Oh, there, no wonder. I needed to go way over here. See, it's been a while since I changed my tape. Okay, come on there. Okay, so there we go. Let me go ahead. Make sure I got this pressed down really nicely. You want to make sure that it adheres to your cup. Super nice. And if you have to do it like this, sometimes I do mine like this, like longer strips. That's what you want to do. And just kind of make sure it's good to go. You want to make sure it's good. Well, I just don't know what to cook for dinner today. It is 1.15 and... I'm thinking about that. Granddaughter is at, at her dad's, and so it's just me and my hubby. I'm thinking I might make him might make him some shrimp scampi or something. I'm not a seafood eater. Um, I'm thinking I need to learn how to eat crab legs. What is your favorite seafood? Do you enjoy seafood? My husband, he likes it, and I don't mind making it for him, but I just don't really like seafood. And so, I'm going to get this all on here. So, I've, I've tasted it, and it's not my favorite, but I do make it for him. Because he likes it, and he deserves it just because I don't like it doesn't mean he can't eat it. So, I'm very grateful for a very non-picky husband. He's not, not picky at all. Okay, so there we go. You also need to use some tape or some parchment paper. Tape, got tape on my mind. And I still am using my parchment paper from, from Costco. Because you want to put ta uh, paper around this because you would not want any, if the ink happened to bleed out, which mine never has, but you don't want the ink to bleed out and get in your press. So you want to make sure, I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to cut this to the size I need. And just go ahead and I'm just going to put it just like this. Now I haven't had any problem with any ink leaking or anything like that, but... Just in case, she got to protect it. So, and there. Okay, I think I'll put one more tape right up here. I want to make sure that's good to go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Okay, let's move this over. Now the good old Cricut heat press is ready for us. Let's move it over in place here. Get my, get my computer out of the way. 
as we're done with that part. And here we go. So, got it all nicely ready for us. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put, you're gonna put this down in. Be careful, don't burn yourself. I do have heat resistant gloves. Okay, putting that all the way down in. And when you got it where you need it, you're just gonna push the lever closed. And once the dots are done blinking, it will tell me when it's done. So anyway, yeah, it's that easy. I'll be able to make a fun, happy spring mug. Could use it for Easter, anything. I'm throwing away my stuff over here, y'all. Y'all, and guess what? I could see like I could see my calendar. I mean, my desk. Look at this. Whoa! I cleaned it. It's fabulous. I don't have anything all over the floor. There, look at the floor. <laughs> Isn't that great? Oh, look, I didn't mean to make you dizzy. I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to let this. As you see, it's only flashing on the first white one. We're going to get all the way to the end for it to be ready. Um, these are the heat-resistant gloves that I have. Got them on Amazon as well. Um, I got my Cricut Mud Press at Joann's like a couple of years ago. And um, like two years ago, I believe. And um, I got it after, on a Black Friday sale. And they still have it. So, anyway. So, I'm going to stop for a second. And whenever it beeps, I'll come back. And we'll take this out and do the final reveal. Okay, it's on the last flashing dot. So, it should be almost ready. So, come on, little friend. There we go. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unlatch it. And I'm gonna, let me get my gloves on. I wanna be safe here. I'm gonna get my, take the mug out. Look at it, kinda burned a little bit of my thing there. So I'm gonna take this and let me move my heat press over onto another mat off to the side. I'm going to leave it on for a minute in case I want to make something else. But now you, what you're going to do is you're going to let this, you're going to let this um, cool down a little bit before you try to do anything. I hope I can be patient. So I'm going to let it cool for a, a couple of minutes and then I will, I will come back and we will reveal our Easter cup. Okay. It's still pretty hot, but I am pretty impatient. So I'm going to go ahead and see how much of this I can pull off. Let me grab my other glove. We don't want to burn the old hands here. And there we go. That's off. I'm able to hold it pretty well with my gloves. So let me get that. If you hear anything going on, my printer is doing an update. So that's what that's doing. Let me see if I can pull off one. Ooh, the handle is not hot, but the rest of it is still pretty hot. So you wanna just go ahead and gently get all the tape off. And gently get all this off. Ooh-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Get that tape. Okay, I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit longer, and then I'll be back. So a few minutes have gone by. It's gotten a little bit more easier to handle. It's still warm, but I went ahead and I got all the tape off the top. I still have the tape on the bottom, but I think what I'm gonna do, oh my goodness, y'all. Look at this. Isn't that so cute? I like it. Look at that. Isn't this so cute? Okay, let me throw this trash away. And look at that. Let me put my glove on because the bottom is still warm. Look at that. How cute is this? This is really, really cute. It's a beautiful design. Happy Spring looks good. And actually, the Happy Spring kind of came out looking orange a little bit. It's okay. I like it. I like it a lot. I wish that you could have it go all the way around, but you know, it is what it is on this, you know, but I think it just turned out just beautiful. How cute, right y'all? 
my first spring project. I love it. I love that. So cute. So cute. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with this process. It's really a lot of fun creating these like this, sublimating. If you don't, if you have the Cricut mug press, but you don't have like a sublimation printer or a printer you can use for sublimation ink, you can also buy um, the, the Cricut, um, they have the Cricut Invisible, what's it called? Invisible ink, I can't even remember. Anyway, they also have a special ink that's actually, that you can sublimate with as well. And I'll see if I can locate that below. I'll put that, put that below. But anyway, how cute is this? Look, isn't that darling? I love it. I love it. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I love you guys. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And um, I just want to tell you how fabulous you are. And don't let anybody tell you any different. Love you guys. Bye.